Hey guys, Ace of Vegas, and I hope you're doing well. And today, I want to let you know that there's no sleep till Brooklyn. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right guys, so Ace here, and today we're doing a little strip walk here. So we're starting here at New York, New York, and we're gonna go ahead and walk all the way down the strip to get to our hotel at Vidara. So I think that's a good, I think that's a good half a mile to a mile. So we're gonna get a nice little uh, 10 minute walk over here. Nice leisurely 10 minute walk. And we're probably gonna go ahead and pop through uh, Park M Jam if we can. If we can't, maybe just walk straight to Aria. Gonna go ahead and do what we can. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, have a good time. All right. So now here comes, uh, here comes the actual park. So the actual park for Park MGM is right over here. Um, but what we're gonna have over here is the Lifter Row. This is where everybody uh, tries to go ahead and get you to get vouchers, or where they hand out cards, where they do card slappers. And then there's lots of street performers over here and all that. So these are the cool guys. Uh, so this is what uh, happens over this way. And then when you get down the strip a little farther, um, there used to be where you could walk straight through this way, but because they're uh, demolishing the Hard Rock Cafe over here, they're knocking down... I don't think it's this Hard Rock Cafe. It might be the other one, but another uh, knocking down one of them. And I totally just missed the light here. I can still make five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah, see, I totally made five seconds. Fastest thing alive, baby. <laughs> All right. So... Looks like we're gonna go through Park MGM right now. And, or actually I think we can go around Park MGM to stay on the strip. So, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, we can actually just go around. We don't even need to go in Park MGM. So if you guys are looking for the uh, escalation, it goes New York, New York, then Park MGM. And I think that actually takes us straight to Aria. And then we gotta hack through Aria to get to Vidara. Because Vidara is behind Aria. So if you've had a long night and you're on the strip, you actually have to stumble down <laughs> through Aria. Take a 10 minute walk through Aria to get to Vidara. And depending on how much you've had to drink, it may or may not be a little more difficult. If you drank, or you know, if you've had edibles, if you smoked, what have you. Just whatever you're into. So, all right, and we're heading down the right way now. So past Park MGM. I already see a couple people stumbling right now and it's uh, 1.30 on a Tuesday. Not quite as wild as it normally would be, but I don't mind. I kind of like the chill. Except they're jamming over there in the 99 cent souvenir store. And then there's no stoplight here. So this is pedestrian friendly traffic. And we're just coming through. All right. And then there's the Aria. It's about where we drop off. Then we have that half price ticket guys over here. And then we're at the CVS pharmacy. So if you need anything, you're staying at Aria. And it's obtusely overpriced at Aria or even Cosmo, CVS is within a stumbling distance. Just FYI. And I want to say CVS being a national brand, if you did forget a prescription and your doctor is uh, legally allowed to call it in, like I don't think they can call in pain medications or anything like that. But um, if you forgot, let's say, your levothyroxine for your thyroid or maybe your atorvastatin for your cholesterol or whatever, then you can go ahead and go over here, pick it up, and then you don't miss a day. Now, whether you're supposed to take those when you're drinking is another question entirely, and I can't answer that for you. <laughs> but, yeah. So we have Barbie's Burger Palace over here, also right next door. All right. And then here we are, going to the shops at Crystal's. I might do a video on that one of these days, but I'm not terribly interested in it. Maybe when we come back to Aria next month, we'll go ahead and do a video on uh, the shops at Crystal's. Just because it's just not something I like to do. It's overpriced. 
and this channel is based around basically saving money in Vegas. So, if you want to save some money in Vegas, don't waste your time with uh, crystals. Alright, and then this is the front end of Aria. So we can go through the front entrance. Which I think we actually have to go up the stairs for. Yeah, escalators for wimps. Let's go. I'm staying hydrated. Do 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 See, I'm stronger than Rocky all day. Made it up the stairs, bros. Bros and sisters, spenders and sharks. All right, cool. So yeah, it was a nice, short little walk off the strip, and we made it to Aria. So now that we're at Aria, uh, let's check out some of the grounds too while we're here, and then we can go ahead and just uh, make it inside and go to Vidara. I think there's a happy hour starting in like half an hour, so I might get a little snack over there while I'm waiting for uh, Vacation Impossible to show up. Because I think they're landing today. And that's probably going to be about 2.45. And we're both going to be stretching our vlogs for weeks, so... Because <laughs> keep in mind, we do not post every day. So we're going to have days and days of just Vegas vlogs hanging around. I might not do a best game in my Vegas slots for a while either. Actually, no, I'm definitely going to end, the, end that series this year. And then maybe replace it with the Winslot series. So we're going to have content for a while, guys. All right. Then we got the little pagoda of fine art. Oh, Bumblebee. That's fine art. I love how nerd culture is uh, slowly kind of encompassed itself in Vegas, too. Kind of makes me feel a little justified. Like when I was younger... They, you know, they'd make fun of me for it. Now it's a, now it's an attractive feature <laughs> to be kind of into nerd culture. All right, and then this is where all the uh, limos are. The valet goes around to the back because there's a back entrance to Vidara that you guys probably don't know about. Sorry guys, I got a call and that interrupted the video. So here we are at the historic, not so historic, Aria Waterfalls here. Um, might see if I can pause the video and look up some facts on this. But yeah, look at that. I can only imagine how much it must cost to keep this thing running. And then also they have the fountains in the center. Wouldn't mind getting really close to those and checking those out. But we're on a strip rock. Why, uh, but we're on a strip walk right now, so we're gonna do that later. Also, they got these fun little pigeon chairs over here, and this obnoxiously loud music. And this guy's just puffing on the biggest cigar. But you know it is Vegas, so you gotta be ready for that. I think that's probably the only thing I don't particularly care for in Vegas is just the fact that it's always inundated with cigar and cigarette smoke. And I gotta admit, Aria, Aria's kinda hit and miss with the uh, with the smoking. Like sometimes the filters work really well, and other times it's like really smoky in there. And it just seems to vary from uh, day to day. All right, cool. We're going in through the front of Aria, and we're gonna have a good time. So let's get through Aria, and we're gonna go ahead and go straight to Vidara. Let's go. Okay, and here we are at the front check-in desk at Aria. It's almost turning into an Aria walkthrough. But that's not what I wanna do right now. I really just wanna go to Vidara. And I think Vidara is this away. You gotta go through the casino though. That's the only problem I have with it. So let's go through the casino. I'm gonna be real quiet now because it's not really, it's kind of frowned upon to film in the casino. But we're gonna stay on the path, so we should be able to avoid most of that. And here we go, it's this more path to Vidara. Sorry about the shaky pocket cam. 
but I think we're home free from here. And lift bar is open too. We might go ahead and sneak over there if it's a little quieter later on in the night and see about filming a video over there. I don't really know where we're going to film. But we'll have a good one. Okay, and then we're through the casino, so now we get to just go ahead and cut straight through and go to Vidara. Aria's right, already decorated for the holidays. They're ready. I'm not, but they're ready. Can't wait to come back next month and check out the uh, Christmas display for Bellagio, because I do believe they still do a Christmas display. Or a holiday display, I'm not sure if they also include... Because uh, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and... Um, yeah, so Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa are all concurrent this year. They're all happening the same week. So, that'll be interesting. So I wonder if they'll accommodate that in their uh, Christmas display. Alright. And now we just go around the giant loop over here to get to our destination. You can also very quickly get to Bellagio this way. There's a tram over there and I think a walkway too. I think we took the walkway before. So it was pretty cool. Alright, and you get a good shot of Cosmo. Las Vegas too. There's the Cosmo. Who's considerably more camera friendly there. So I kind of do like that. I know they're, they're weird about a lot of stuff with security, but they're, very, they're a bit more camera friendly. Like, they like the live slot pools and things like that. Like, I don't think any uh, casinos bothered me about, um, you know, filming with my big wins in a casino. Because I'm sure they just want the press and all that. I'm, I'm sure they keep pay attention. They want, the, they want the good press. Which I get. But, you know, you never want any bad press as a casino. It's very expensive to have bad press. Because, even you know... They're looking for every last dollar they can get. These places are not cheap to run. And they'll just send you crazy things, like they'll send me a fruit basket for no reason, other than I checked in. Alright guys, and we are home free now. So yeah, I think it's time to go inside, hit that club lounge, and uh, yeah, grab a bite. Okay. Yeah, a lot of children out. Very bizarre. Very young children, though, so I guess school doesn't apply to them. Alright, guys. And here we are. We're back at the Vidara. So I'm going upstairs to that club lounge and enjoying myself. So until next time, Spinners and Sharks. This is Vegas. is signing out. Wishing you strong hands and happy spinning. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, Viva, it's Vegas.